why do we need to associate with the word of God? Why do we need to stay in the word of God so we can be productive and fruitful, multiply and increase? The reason is simple. Um, Jesus speaking in uh, the book of John, he said, without me, you can do nothing. John 15, he said, I am the vine and you are the branches without me. That is categorical, right? He could have said something, but he said, without me, you can do nothing, like nothing, nada, right? It's very important to know the place the word of God occupies in your life and to give it that place as a child of God. It's not optional to read your Bible. It's not optional to listen to the word of God preach. It's not optional to want to be um, in the word. Great men of God stay in the world. I'm telling you, if you listen to each and every one of them, they would tell you that they got to where they got to because they choose to know the word and they choose to do the word. It's not optional. It's a choice. It's never going to be how you feel. It's going to be how you have seen it and you're choosing to do it. And when you do it, you will see how the result will cause you to um, have the same result, you know? The other aspect of the word of God that uh, will cause you to be productive and to be fruitful is that the word of God has the ability to cut things out. Those things that are not productive in your life. The word has the ability to clean it out. The word of God in Ephesians chapter 5, um, reading from verse 20 down, would say that we are washed by the washing of the word of God, which is a spiritual water it cleans out junk from out of your life that will cause you to be productive it makes you uh, um, realize the areas maybe bad associations friends that don't help you productive um habits that are killing you and habits that are causing you not to be fruitful and not helping you to multiply and increase the word of god will show you those areas that's how it washes you. It shows them to you. It opens them up to you. And James called it the perfect law of liberty. It shows you exactly um, how to get yourself free from things that are causing you not to be productive. When it does that and you listen and you follow those instructions that you see and get from the word, the result is clear. It's outstandingly uh, um it's outstanding fruitfulness. It's outstanding productivity. The result will be outstanding increase. Hebrews 4, 12 says that word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Why? It can cut all the junk. It can cut all the branches. It can help prune everything that is not, that's not productive and everything that is stopping you from being productive so you can be productive. And get to that place where you're not just productive, but you're multiplying, you're increasing, and you're replenishing every aspect of your life. What are we saying? The word of God is powerful. When I teach the word, I encourage people to read it. It care you even if you're not understanding it, read it. If you're understanding it, read it. Better still, if you're not understanding it, spend some time to pray in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the teacher. He's been paid. Your school fees has been paid. Hallelujah. The price for the Holy Spirit to teach you, to cancel you, bring you to your place of productivity and, and fruitfulness and greatness has been paid. That's the blood of Jesus. Jesus himself said that. He said, I need to go. Because if I don't, you wouldn't get the teacher here to teach you. So what are you waiting for? To learn the word of God. Your teacher is available. He's always, always willing to teach and to bring us to that place of productivity and fruitfulness and greatness in our lives. If we will allow him, that's where the key is. If you will allow him, how do you allow the Holy Ghost to teach you the word? By staying in the word, by picking up your Bible and picking up a notebook and a pen. When the Holy Ghost sees you with a paper, oh, not paper, get a book, a good book. Get a good book to study because the word is that important to document. Get a book, get your Bible, and sit down. When the Holy Ghost sees you ready like that, he's going to teach you. Take my word for it. Do it and watch your life change. So what are we saying? Stay in the word and let the word help you grow. And as you grow, help other people grow. As you're productive, help other people to be productive. As you increase, 
be a blessing. Be a blessing to other people. Be a blessing um, in other, you will be you'll be a blessing to your own self in other areas of your life as you grow in the word and stay productive, stay fruitful, increased in Jesus' name. Amen.